Hey y'all, we are talking radishes, as you can see here. Uh, these have sort of varying sizes, right? They're slightly larger radishes and slightly smaller radishes here. Typically, the smaller radishes are gonna be a little bit sweeter and the larger ones might be a little bit more um, pungent flavored, but, also, but all of these are probably gonna be relatively milder in flavor. Person, like I can just tell because the skin's not as tough and so these are probably slightly younger radishes. Uh, how peppery a radish is depends on a lot of different factors, but uh, one of it's the time of year it's grown, the soil within it's grown, there's just so many different things. It's kind of a cool vegetable in that way. But um, enough of all that, I'm gonna show you how we want to prep it. So of course, you know, you're gonna wanna remove it from these leaves. For the most part, when we talk radishes, we talk this part of the radish. Not to say you can't use the leaf, but um, you know, for our recipes, when we talk radishes, it's really actually this part of the radish that we want to use, this really pretty bright red. So I'm just gonna pick off a couple of those. You can see I'm just like twisting to pull them off. I could use a knife or a pair of scissors if I really felt like I needed to, um, but twisting is just as easy. So now I've got the part that was attached to the plant and then the, this little tail, see that little tail just comes off. You don't have to remove them, but um, can make it a little bit prettier. So those come off. I'm just gonna take that little green pit bit off the top. You could eat that, it's really fine. But sometimes dirt gets kind of trapped in that area, so it can be a little bit nicer to take it off. So I've got them like this. So a couple of different things I can do, right? First thing is I can just cut it in half and leave it sliced, it's all done. Or maybe I could take that and then cut it into little sort of pieces. The other thing might be to cut it in half and then set it side by side and then use that to slice. You could also slice it whole. There are just so many different ways that you can prep radish. Um, not so many, but there are several different ways that you can prep radish like that. And you can also just take them like this whole and roast them or put them in a pan, particularly if you have some of these like smaller ones that would work really well. So those are the basics like with all of our things. Once you get it to this size, you know, you can cut this in half if need be and you know, might have you do that for a recipe. But for the most part, this is the covering of the basics of the radish and the sort of basic cuts and then you can go from there. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the green today because sometimes you're gonna to wanna to use the greens and that's awesome. We love root to stem cooking and sometimes we have recipes that do that for you and other times I might want you to use the bulb and then you've got the stem left over, or the leaves left over and you can do what you wish with them. So this one, uh, it's, a, it's a little wilted because as you can tell, I've already actually used some of the radishes from here, but it's still good. Nothing's wrong with it. It's still gonna taste great. Really, I'm just gonna kinda cut it from the rest Set that aside, use that for other things. And then, really easy, just cut, cut it down like that. Now, with uh, radish greens like this, they can have a little bit of grit to them. I, have, I don't usually talk about washing your veggies, and the reason for that is because, you know, I find that for the most part, if you buy something in the grocery store, it's gonna be pretty well cleaned. Every so often, some things, spinach, things like that, will trap some dirt, but otherwise, for the most part, things are, are, have already been cleaned multiple times. And not for nothing, I don't mind a little dirt. <laughs> I think dirt's good for us. But with these, they can be a little bit gritty. So once you've cut it, or before if you want to too, this is, not, this is not a whole lot, it's a small little bit, so I can actually take it all in my hands like that. I'm just gonna go back here to the sink, run the water, I'm just gonna keep it in my hand like this. You could put it in a salad spinner if you really wanted to. Again, I'm personally not that concerned about um, all the dirt that could be on here and if I'm buying, you know, organic or from my local farmer, I'm less concerned about there being extra pesticides on there, especially if I, you know, if I talk to that farmer and I know what they do. Um, so anyway, so I just kind of ran it under the water a little bit, putting it on a paper towel, spreading it out. I'll bring this over here so you can see it better. I'm going to spread that out. You could do it, as I said, before you cut it, after you cut it. You don't have to do it. If you don't mind that little bit of greediness, that's fine too, but I think that takes it away. So then they're relatively dried. You could, if you're worried it's still a little too wet, you could put it in your container wrapped in some paper towel to help absorb that moisture, but otherwise that's it. And they cook up just like spinach or collards or anything else. And honestly, this amount will shrink down a whole lot. So, all right, I think that's it for radish greens. <laughs>